Okay, let's do a little K-Clip testing. I am running K-Clip version 3.2.4. Had it since forever. Tiny amount of clipping on a simple drum loop. Let's go ahead and deactivate this. So this is baseline for my project. Um, 441 sample rate. 256 buffer size, pretty small. So this is Bitwig CPU graph. Um, I've got a deadline of 5.8 milliseconds before I start having buffer overruns, right? My average load with this drum track, the UI up, Bitwig disabled. I'm sorry, K-Clip disabled. It's pretty low, 50 milliseconds, 0 0.050 milliseconds, right? So let's go ahead and activate it and see what changes. Okay, we see a slight bump for a second when it wakes up, but then it goes back to sleep. So it's reporting its state to the DOM, but it's just kind of putting it to sleep when it's not in use. Still staying around 50 milliseconds, 0 0.050 50 milliseconds, I should say, right? Right here at this number. Okay, let's play the loop. So I don't know how much of this load of 110, 115 is the sample being played versus um, K-Clip doing its thing, but let's just, you know, pay attention to what's going on here and see what happens. Let's loop this for a while. We're just doing this with one instance to set a baseline. This is how much load with a buffer size of 256. Okay, so it's pretty constant 110, right? With one instance. Okay, so let's just do some duping. Track number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Okay, I got 50 tracks. Let's squish these up a little bit. Okay, 50 tracks. Every track has an instance of K-Clip. They're all playing a drum loop. Of course, now <laughs> I'm going to mute everything because uh, we don't want to be blowing our ears out. How do I want to do this? Let's just select all but the first track. And I'm just going to take the volume down all the way to negative infinity. So those tracks are quiet. But I have one track that's still playing at the normal volume, so we can hear this. So let's see what happens when we play this now with all 50 tracks. So with 50 tracks, my load has only increased to 0.45, 100. So it went from 100 to 450, right? With 50 instances of K-Clip. That's not a big load, folks. That's not a big load at all. So this is Bitwig on Windows, Windows 10. This is Bitwig. Do, 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 do. 4.1.6. I haven't upgraded to 4.2 yet. I'm waiting for them to come out with their first bug fix patch. Um, so, you know, and you can see when they all go to sleep again, our deadline's pretty, pretty small, right? Even with 50 instances loaded and idle, you know, before it was 0 0.050. Well, now it's more than that, of course, but I have 50 tracks, 50 instances of this plugin live and active. 
you know, just to show you, we can pick any one of these tracks and show you that it's actually doing something. All right? That's just one of my random tracks in the middle that's muted out. Um, so this load seems very reasonable to me, right? Now what I'm going to do is pause the video, and then I'll come back after installing and loading up the new KClip 3.5, and we'll see if it's behaving any better or worse. Okay, and we're back. So I've installed KClip 3.5. Let's go ahead and it's deactivated right now. Let's see what the metering is at. See, it's still at 50 on average. There's no change there. Let's go ahead and activate this. Same tiny little bump as before, and then it goes back to sleep again pretty quick. Still holding steady at, you know, negative 50, or, you know, 0 0.50. Sorry, it's late at night. I'm winging this. So let's open this up. All right. Uh, eh. Not a huge fan of the new GUI, but it's not terrible so far. Let's see what it looks like. All right. I can't say I'm a fan of the new visualizer. That's a pretty useless visualizer. I believe they give you an option to actually turn it off if you want. Um, I would probably much rather just use an oscilloscope on here, like oscilloscope, and actually see what the clipping is doing. All right? Set this to something like a bar, and then actually look at my waveforms to see what's getting clipped. All right? I'd probably zoom in real close and increase the clipping this way. All right? This is a much more useful kind of visualization, being able to see your waveform getting clipped. But I digress. Yeah, this is worthless. Sorry, sorry, Kazrog. You should go back to the old visualizer. Um, okay, let's get rid of the scope. And let's uh, measure this now. I'm going to close this down. Don't need to see it. Just want to see what its effects are. So when it's running, yep, that's exactly the same number as before. No different from 3.2.4, right? 120 is exactly what we had first time around. So let me pause this and dupe out 50 tracks for you. Be right back. Okay, same setup as before. We have 50 tracks. 49 of them are just faders down to infinity. So we're only hearing one track, but all 50 are plain. Load is exactly where it was before uh, with 50 tracks hovering around 150 when everything is asleep and quiet. So far I'm seeing absolutely no change from 3.2.4. It's no worse, it's no better. It's exactly the same behavior in Bitwig so far. Now let's uh, play it and see what the load looks like. All right, load is a little bit higher. It was 450 with the last version of K-Clip. Weird spurious bump there for some reason. But we went from 450 to 520, 530 thereabouts, right? So that is a little bit of a bump up in CPU usage. A um, little bit of a bump. I can't say I'm happy about that, but it's certainly not bad. I mean, again, I have 50 tracks and 50 instances of these running. Let's try a trick. I'm going to turn off the visualizer and set this up with the, uh, the visualizer turned on. Be right back. Okay, so now the uh, useless visualizer is turned off. 
Uh, I do like that in the new version of K-Clip, the old version is just always huge. The new version, you can at least make this small, and especially if you don't care about the visualizer, um, this is fine. Right? This graphic back here is useless, and maybe it's using some resources. Let's find out. So let's close this up. Um, let's go ahead and pause this, and I'll set up 50 dupes of this again. All right, final test run. Um,